I've just installed something on my home central vac system. Uh, it's a differential pressure water lift gauge. And you can see it's uh, we've got a plastic tube here. The bottom of it is just looped. Actually that, that curly cue is totally unnecessary. It should be just a U-shaped loop. And on the top, uh, the ends go above the ceiling. One end connects to the pre-separator side of the piping system and the other side connects to the post separator, the, the pipe that goes out to the vacuum motor. And so what this does is it measures the pressure difference or actually the pressure loss caused by the bag. And uh, over here we've got uh, the zero mark and uh, I put a little mark where the pressure was when it was new. And so you can see that there's a few inches. That's uh, let's say two and a half inches, but the actual measurement is double that, or five inches, because the what you want to do is have the difference between this side and that side, which goes down by the same amount this side goes up by. So it's got a five inch pressure drop uh, when it's new. Now I've just gone and cleaned the laundry room carpet with some capture. It's just like the 80s, white powder everywhere. And uh, I'm going to plug in and we're going to watch this rise as we use it. I just changed that bag a couple weeks ago, so it's going to be slightly above new now, but we'll see it go up. Okay, so now it's running and we'll put a little mark where it is now. Used a good few cups of capture to do this room, so hopefully that gives us a reading. Normally, in this house, it takes uh, several months of use before uh, an appreciable pressure drop is uh, is noticed at the hose end and that's when you need to change the bag but this we're we're accelerating this very rapidly with the powder you can see it's already gone up a few inches we're using the Electrolux rug tool today. I'm sure I could get even more out of the carpet faster if I used a power head, but one interesting thing, when you block off the hose, normally of course the water lift in the system, the pressure in the system is going to go up. But because there's no difference now between the pre and the post side, the differential pressure actually goes down because the pressure in the system you know, appears to equalize. Then it's back up when you unblock it. It's amazing how quickly that bag is getting loaded with powder. Now the suction, as far as the way you feel, uh, the suction still feels plenty strong, but um, the gauge is indicating that the resistance to the airflow is more than double what it was when we started. Thank you. 
and I'm going to stop there. The pressure is now up to this, it's actually a little past this black mark that I put on before I changed the bag from before, which had, you know, four months of regular house dirt in it. So just picking up uh, capture for a few minutes clogged this bag up, uh, the equivalent of using a system for a few months in regular use, and the actual pressure drop is going to be, let's call that 12 inches times 2, so now we have 24 inches of pressure drop um, from this bag being full of capture. And now we're back to zero. So interesting, kind of cool, hope you get a kick out of it.